today I'm going to show you a little progression that I just played. Uh, this is a little progression that I played in another video when people were asking me to show how I played it. Uh, the other video, uh, I'll link to it right here, was about how to record your guitar using a Rocksmith cable to your computer. Uh, and people were asking how to play the progression. The progression is built around the D chord. It's got a couple of different variations that I think make it sound kind of interesting. And uh, for me, this lesson is influenced by Zeppelin, Jimmy Page. You'll hear this, uh, this chord sequence and progression in a couple of his songs. So I'm going to break it down as best I can for you. I'm going to throw the chord names at you and uh, see if I can show how to play it. All right, so uh, I'm just going to run through it real quick, see if we can break it down. I'm going to start off with a quick uh, strum on the D major chord. I'm going to take my picky and I'm going to hammer on the high E string on the third fret. So we're going to be hitting a B, uh, quick uh, D sus4 and then releasing. So. And then I come back down the D chord on the second and the third uh, string. So, all right. And then what we're going to do is release um, the high E string, our, our, remove our middle finger. So we're basically going to be playing a, a D sus two here. So, and then we're going to come right back down again to the the uh, D major. So. And we come back down the, the second and third string in the D chord again, the same way we did uh, with the pinky pull off. So, and then we're going to hit the uh, fourth string. Okay. So what we're going to do is walk into a quick uh, uh, C add nine on the A string. Okay. This would be a C. Add nine. The shape looks more familiar, probably like that to you. But we're, because we're coming out of the D, we're just going to end up going like this. Okay, on this one, I'm actually jumping over to the E string. I'm skipping the uh, the uh, second string on that little pick sequence. But you can do it however you want. Whatever sounds good to you. Okay, and then we're coming down to uh, E minor seventh, but we're playing the uh, the D string open because a, a D minor seventh would normally look like that. But we're just going to play it like this. Uh, I haven't played the uh, the low E string yet, so okay. Then we run through it again, the same thing. And then the last chord I ended up on in this uh, part of the progression was a G minor sixth, um, which is basically when I take the the E minor seventh that we're playing here and move our uh, our index finger down to the uh, the uh, fifth string on the first fret. And you want to be careful not to uh, you know you could you could tend to mute this uh, high E, but you want to let that ring. So. All I'm doing there is just coming back across the, the one, two, and three string. So, okay. So the nice thing is, I mean, this like the way I, the reason I say this is built around the D chord is because you know it gives you that uh, those pull offs. Gives you a little interesting thing, and you can play it different ways too. You can go at it from the other direction. You can take your uh, middle finger, and it sounds nice, and it sounds probably more difficult than it really is. So it's one of those things you just kind of have to play around with and see if you can build your own song out of it.
you liked the video. Um, I did the best I could to break it down for you. Uh, leave questions and comments below. And thanks for watching. Hope it helps.